Everyone loves Drupal in CSR programming language. And you will love them even further when you will learn about the tuple pattern in CSR. Tuple pattern is a very great concept to write your complex code in a very easy way. Let's understand how this works. Here I'm using the same console application and in this console application we are having couple of classes from the previous videos. Let's add one more class over here. To add a new class in this project I can just right click on the name of this project and choose this add and simply use this class over here. Now let's give a meaningful name to this class and I'm writing over here as tuple pattern. You can give any meaningful name to your class as per your need. Let's click on this add button and here in this tuple pattern class I will create a new function and we can copy a function directly from this switch pattern matching from this class actually. Let's copy this entire method and go back to this tuple pattern class and over here let's update the name of this function using tuple. And what is the concept of tuple? Tuple is basically a feature where we can assign multiple values to a single field. In this example, if you will notice, we are using an enum. The name is country enum and based on the value that we will pass from the calling function, we are getting this value. Now let's say here I want to pass multiple values. So my first value is country name, this one. And my second value is or the parameter is state name. Okay. Now what I want, I want to return some values based on their combinations. The combinations can be anything. Let's say if I talk about the India country, there are so many states in India. So one combination is India Delhi. So this is first combination. Second combination is India MP. That is the second combination. And let's not even worry about this country name and the state name. Let's assume that we are having two values or three values or four values and we are having so many combinations of all these properties and based on those combinations i want to return some values let's talk about a very simple example over here in this notepad so let's assume that i'm having four input properties let's say it is a and in this a i'm writing one value let's say this is first then i'm having b then i have one more variable over here and it is c this one now we can create so many combinations from all these three fields. What could be the combinations? Let's say first, then third, and then the second. If this is the combination, then I want to return something. Again, if this first is in middle, let's say the combination is third, first, second, then I want to return something. Another combination could be second, first, and third. So basically we are having these three values and in your case you can have n number of values. And if you will handle this situation by using the if and else, then your code will be very complex. But if you will use the tuple concept, then it would be very easy for you. Okay. So let's say here I'm having only two parameters and based on these parameters, I need to return some data over here. This time here, because we are talking about the tuple, so we have to use a tuple and in the tuple, we have to provide both the name. So it is tuple name. So basically we are just designing a tuple. In this tuple we will have only two values. This is the country name and this is the state name. And over here we can just use the tuple matching. So if the first value is India and let's say the second one is this Delhi, then I want to return India Delhi like this. Let's update all the values quickly. So second one is about USA and let's say it is state one. So here I'm writing state one like this. Update this one as well. Like this. And let's just remove this one because we are happy with only these three things. And even you can create further combinations like India, USA, USA, state two, whatever combination you want to have over here, you can write at this place. Now it is time to use this function in the program.cs class, basically in the calling function. So here we are in this program.cs class and let's just comment everything what we have. And because we are having any static function, so we can call it directly by using the class name. So I'm writing console dot write line, use the name of the class. It is tuple pattern. Let's update it basically and then use the name of the function this one and here let's pass two values so basically let's say that i am working with this combination so here i can pass this usa and this state one here it is so this is the second parameter this one now 
let's just build this application i can right click over here and just click on this build button or i can also press ctrl shift p from the keyboard let's run this application the build is successful you you can see that we are getting the message from that usa and it is working as expected if i pass some different value let's say i want to pass this india and delhi run this application we are getting the message from this particular case if i'm passing something that does not exist over there let's say this one run this application you will notice that we will get the value from the default one so this is how the tuple pattern will work now just assume that you are having five input properties over here in this function and based on their combinations you need to return something from this function handling all these things using the if and else and anything else would be very very complex but using the tuple concept you can write your code in a very simple manner